Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use grid row to control spacing. So this is just similar to the last lesson. Um, of course, you can make items consume multiple rows just like you can with columns. Uh, you define the horizontal lines you want an item to start and stop at using grid row property on a grid item. Make the element with item 5 class consume the last two rows. Um, so yeah, this is going to be grid row 1 of 3, I think, right? Consume the last two rows. So now it's consuming these last two rows. So the pale blue one is consuming the two of the four. So one, two, two of four, and then one of three. So these this makes up one, two, three, and it's consuming one third, two fourths. So that's one fifth. I don't understand that. What if you change this to one five? Doesn't work the same. It would be one and then it would consume the last five rows and the five rows went out. So if I put that back the way it was, it's starting on the second one and it's consuming to the fourth one. One, one, two, three. But there's only three here. Interesting. Anyways, um, I'm not sure I'm totally understanding this. Okay, I didn't get this right. Let's see here. Should have a grid row property that has the value of two, four. Oh, hmm. Okay, so it starts on the second one and it goes to the fourth one. And now, and then here it starts at the second one and it goes to the fourth one. Ah, so that's why I was, wasn't understanding it. Um, let's see, if we set it to go start at the first one and go to the last one, it would take up one, two, three, four, maybe four. I don't know. This is kind of confusing. Anyways, we run the test in the past. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.